about sneezing and yawning. And we mentioned the sunnah of the Prophet about the obligation of replying or responding to someone who says Alhamdulillah after sneezing. But what if the person who sneezed did not say Alhamdulillah? He or she, they were busy. Maybe speak over the, on the phone, whatever they're doing. So they sneezed and they just moved on with their conversation and whatever uh, they were doing. Perhaps they were talking to you and they sneezed and they moved on. Do you tell them Alhamdulillah? No. Do you have to remind them and say to them, say Alhamdulillah? Yes. Now let's see what the Prophet ﷺ did. Salawatullah wa salam. And Abu Musa al-Ash'ari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qala sami'atu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul Ida aqasa ahadukum fahamid Allah fashammitu fa in lam yahmad Allah fala tushammitu Rahu Muslim In this hadith, Abu Musa al-Ash'ari reported the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said When one of you sneezes and praises Allah azza wa jal meaning saying alhamdulillah you should invoke Allah's mercy upon him by saying, Ya Allah. But if he does not praise Allah Azza wa Jal, this person did not say Alhamdulillah, you should not make a response to him or her. Meaning if he didn't say Alhamdulillah, don't say Alhamdulillah. As an evidence and other also to support that, Anas radiallahu ta'ala, he reported, Qala, Atasa rajulani عند النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. فشمت أحدهما ولم يشمت الآخر. أنا سرّي said that two men sneezed in the presence of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. So the Messenger of Allah he responded to one of them by saying الحمد لله. And he didn't say that to the other one. فقال الذي لم يشمت عطس فلان فشمته وعطست فلم تشمتني. قال هي the man he just kind of kind of surprised. قال يا رسول الله. The latter just said he said to him. You invoked the blessings on this man, but did not do so to me as well. His eyes sneezed as well. فَقَالَ لَهُ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ قَالَ هَذَا حَمِدَ اللَّهُ وَإِنَّكَ لَمْ تَحْمِدِ اللَّهُ مُتَفَقٌ عَلَيْهِ The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم replied to him. He said he praised Allah, which means he said Alhamdulillah, and they added, and you did not. So from this hadith, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he didn't really respond to him at all. So if someone doesn't say Alhamdulillah. You don't have to remind him if you don't want to. But you can still remind him, say, say, say Alhamdulillah. Specifically, if they were under your, يعني, um, I'll say, guardianship, your children, if they sneeze, teach them. Tell them, did you say Alhamdulillah? So they say, Alhamdulillah. Tell them, Alhamdulillah. You teach them that. Also, sometimes adults need a reminder. Specifically, if they've never been taught or raised to, you know, to practice these beautiful uh, akhlaq and manners and son of the Prophet So it's all right to teach them. It's all right to educate the people inshallah ta'ala by letting them know that don't you know that you should say alhamdulillah when you sneeze and if they say, you say alhamdulillah. Okay, is there any way someone can make up for uh, forgetting alhamdulillah? Let's say you sneeze and 10 minutes later you say, oh, I sneeze, alhamdulillah. Would that count? The answer is no, it doesn't count. If you say alhamdulillah, it counts as praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but this would not be the praise after you sneeze. Wallahu ta'ala. Any questions, Jumma? Um Somebody forgot. Instead of um, telling them that say Alhamdulillah or say, did you say Alhamdulillah? Can we just just like you know look at them and tell them like implied Alhamdulillah and the person says Alhamdulillah then I say. Uh, the question is, is it okay if you want to remind someone who sneezed and they forgot to say Alhamdulillah? Can you just look at them and say Alhamdulillah? Like, no, in a, in a, like, like an Alhamdulillah, so at least they know that. So that you, they hear you saying Alhamdulillah to remind them that you should say Alhamdulillah, that's what you're saying? Yeah, something like that. Of course, I mean, it, it doesn't matter how you remind them. It's basically, they need to remember that they needed to say Alhamdulillah. Specifically, if they were children, just look at them and tell them Alhamdulillah, which means, you know, you need to say Alhamdulillah, so that they follow. Wallah. Now, yes. Have you ever sneeze attack when you're sneezing like multiple times? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a good one. Say once, <laughs> once should be sufficient, or do you have to say? It How many times do you say uh, uh, ya First of all, yourself. How many say do you say? How many times do you say Alhamdulillah? Uh, you know, when you sneeze, do you say ten times? The first three times? The first time? How many times do you say that? Specifically, if someone was ill or sick, has cold, they're gonna be sneezing forever. So for you, those, the person who sneezes, I mean, sufficient for you to say once. Sufficient for you to say once. 
if you want to keep saying it after every time, that's good. Alhamdulillah, that's good for you. Uh, however, if you would like to keep it moderate, three times, because the Prophet وسلم, one day he heard a man sneezing, so he said, Alhamdulillah, after he said, Alhamdulillah, he said, Alhamdulillah. Third, second time, third time, every time he would say, Yarhamukallah, Yarhamukallah. After the third time, the Prophet وسلم, told him, Shafakallah, which means, May Allah cure you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be your recovery. Basically, you seem to be, you know, uh, sick. So therefore, that requires another dua. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani help him uh, get, uh, get over this. So, based on that, three times would be sufficient, inshaAllah ta'ala. And if you, the person sneezes more than that, and they keep saying, Alhamdulillah, you do not have to, res- to respond or reply afterwards. If you've done it three times, khalas. The, rest, the, the, the fourth one should be Shafakallah, which means may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani cure you. And that would be it. Wallahu Yes? How about if someone sneezed during the khutbah, Jum'ah prayer? You're sneezing during khutbah? Imam is on the member, and you sneezed. Do you say Alhamdulillah? Yes. You say Alhamdulillah. How about the others? Did they say, should they respond? No, in this case, they don't. Can you keep it until after khutbah? <laughs> and then the moment the salah is over, you tell the person, Alhamdulillah. Well, if, it, if you do that, I don't know if it counts as Tashmit al in this regard, but yeah, Jazakallah khair. At least you kept it in your mind until the Salah was over. Now. Um, you, like, you know, like, uh-huh. Yeah, I know you do that very often. <laughs> <laughs> so if you sneeze in Salah this time, what do you do? This is coming tomorrow, inshaAllah ta'ala. If you sneeze in Salah, how should you protect yourself from that? Wallahu ta'ala. Subhanakallah wa bihamdi. Ashraallah al-Azim. Hasta la próxima